Dr. McCary, how many, um, well, uh, let me start with this. What's, what's the budget at uh, CDC? Do you happen to know that? CDC, it's about $9 billion, sir. How, how about at NIAID? What's the budget there? Six billion. Six billion, nine billion at CDC, six billion NIAID. What's, what, what about NIH? What's the budget there? Uh, between 42 and 43 billion. 42 and 43. So I do the quick math. That's like 57, 58 billion dollars. That's annual, right? Annual. Okay. And uh, you know how many people work at uh, CDC? Um, CDC and NIH together, about 30,000 people. 30,000. What about if you add in NIAID? Do you know how many that is? Or they're part of, they're part of, they're part of uh, uh, NIH as well, right? So 30, what was that number? That's right. That's right. 50, uh, 31,000 people between CDC and NIH. 31,000 people spending $58 billion a year. Uh, why hasn't our government done a study on natural immunity? If I can be honest, uh, Representative Jordan, I don't think they want to know the answer. It would undermine the indiscriminate vaccine vaccination policy for every single human being, including extremely low risk so, people. So, uh, how many how many Americans have uh, have have got COVID uh, since since we've had this virus? Do you know? North of half of Americans, based on a Columbia University study that showed one in three had COVID at the end of last year, a year ago. So there's certainly a, certainly a, a, a sufficient sample size to, to do a study. And there's 57 to $58 billion. Some, I mean, you could use some of that money to do a study. Um, and then of course, you know, you got 30 some thousand people who could conceivably do a study on a pretty fundamental uh, question. Now, I, I think I, I saw in your opening statement that you're actually doing a study on natural immunity. Is that right? That's right. With private funding, Johns Hopkins, my research team is doing a study. Okay, so uh, you, you, there's no grant money coming from CDC, NIH, nothing like that? No, sir. And are any of these 30-some thousand employees helping you with your study? No, sir.